Hello everyone. This is Jatin Ambasna and we'll be learning entity relationship model from the database management system subject and the slide is from uh, database system concept book fifth edition by Silver Death course by a course and solution. So let's start with ER diagram concepts. Uh, well we will start with an entity first. What is an entity basically? Entity is an object that exists uh, or that can be distinguishable from other objects like it can be any specific person or company or a plant or even it can be anything, any physical thing, any concrete thing, it can also be a conceptual thing and when similar type of entities come together they become it becomes an entity set like set of all persons, set of companies, set of holidays. This is the example where you can see basically an entity represents one record inside the database. So this record in the database table represents one entity. You can call the entity as Jones or Harrison or Jones Harrison. Fine. This is one entity that represents one loan a loan with its number L17 has amount as thousand rupees or dollars you can say a loan with loan number L23 has an amount of 2000 so these are various entities and this customer is the entity set which represents this outer boundary of the entity set so this customer entity set consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 entities or 7 customer entities and this loan entity set consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 loan entities. So we have right now in front of us one customer entity set and another loan entity set. See this is an example of customer entity set and this is an example of loan entity set. This can be different according to situation. So basically we now know what is an entity and entity set. Now this is just an example but to represent entity in ER model we will have to learn a notation of rectangle. How to use the notation of rectangle to represent an entity that we will be learning. Then we will be learning relationships. How two entities can be related with each other or associated with each other like over here customer can be associated with a loan customer would have borrowed a loan from bank and when all these kind of relationships come together it becomes a relationship set for example a customer has an account entity a customer is related with an account entity or a customer is related with a loan entity so over here one customer may be associated with any one or more than one loans or one loan may be associated with one or more than one customer. So that is what a relationship is. A relationship basically associates several entities. So this is an example of relationship set. You can see this shows the relationship set where you can see multiple relationships exist. You can count the relationships 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. There are total 8 relationships in this relationship set and that can be given the name as borrower. So it means that this customer entity is also customer entity set all represents a table. This lower entity set represents a table and this borrower and relationship set sorry not entity set, set but relationship set. This represents one kind of table itself where one entity is associated with another entity and that table may consist of either of these columns from this or either of these columns. So we can consider one column from this table, one column from this table and that those two columns will consist of a table that comprises of this relationship set. So this is the example where you can see this customer name from customer table is used and account number from account table is used to associate with each other so this relationship set depositor 
associates customer relation uh, sorry customer entity and account entity with each other and also adds on its own attribute like date or access date now you will see you will say what is an attribute basically an attribute it is a property it can be a property of relationship set it can also be a property of entity set so over here you can see basically customer entity has got one two three four attributes whereas loan entity has got two attributes loan entity has got loan number and amount attribute whereas customer entity has got customer id customer name customer street and customer city attribute so basically considering id attribute and loan number attribute we can use this two attribute to relate these two entities and that is how this relationship set borrower is created so that borrower will consist of customer id and loan number attributes similarly this is depositor relationship you can name this as borrower depositor relationship set and this depositor relationship set can also consist of this customer name an account and an access date that it shows when this customer Johnson accessed account A101 that was 24 May 2005. Now we will see some examples of uh, ER diagrams. Simple example: see, customer is a borrower of a loan, so you can see customer is represented with diag this diamond. Oh, sorry, is uh, represented with rectangle. Loan entity is also represented with rectangle. So entities are always represented with rectangle a relationship is always represented with a diamond and attributes are represented with oval shape so rectangles represent entity set diamonds represent the relationship set this link represent uh, relationships between an entity and relationship set or a connection link and ellipses are nothing but attributes why we use attributes basically attributes describes an entity why we use relationships because it associates two entities entity 1 and entity 2 are associated with a relationship set and customer has got four attributes loan entity has got two attributes and why this customer id attribute and loan number attribute are underlined we will see into that also we will go into that because these are got these are called as key attributes key attributes are unique attributes the value of key attributes are always unique this is an example of uh, various types of attributes in a single diagram this is very important diagram as compared as Uh, compared to the university question you can see a customer entity is there which has got a key attribute customer id which is unique and since it's a key attribute it is been underlined customer can have a name which can be further divided into three components so basically we call this name attribute as a composite attribute and it has got three components first name middle initial and last name and uh, you can see that uh, customer has also got other composite attributes like address which has got components like city state and zip code and another composite attribute inside it called as street which is further divided into three components street number street name and apartment number well practically talking these composite attributes don't get stored into the database what will get stored is this component attributes so basically this customer if we consider this customer entity and consist is table then the table will comprise of customer id field first name field middle initial field last name field street number street name apartment number city state and zip code and yes these also 
these are different uh, types of attributes like this is the simple attribute date of birth and from which you can calculate the age so we don't need to store age as a field inside the database but yes when we are talking of views when in which views this whole table will be represented we can calculate the age by getting the difference of date of birth and current date and from the difference we can calculate the age and we can show that age onto the view so that's why this age is showed as a derived attribute and derived attributes are represented by dashed ellipses you see these are this is a complete ellipse and this is a dashed ellipse and this is the date of birth is a simple attribute like this so it is state of the code but this phone number is a multi valued attribute a customer can have multiple phones so or multiple phone numbers or mobile numbers so that's why this represents multiple values and it can it can be we can say that this there can be multiple fields of the phone number or one field may store many phone numbers but that is not good design that we will see later on when we start with database design so basically this customer table will consist of how many number of fields customer id first name middle initial last name street number st street name apartment number city state zip code date of birth and phone number let's say phone number 1 phone number 2 and phone number 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and let's say 12 13 14 so 14 or 15 we can consider four phone numbers or one or two phone numbers so that depends on the design requirement and this age will not be stored inside the database but yes we can calculate it and show it onto the view when this whole table is shown as a view so that my dear friends was an entity with different attributes and entities with relationship sets this entity relationship diagram small diagram shows how a customer is a, associated with an account through a relationship set called depositor and this er diagram represents these particular example the one shown over here you can see how many records are there in a depositor relationship 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine records are there although there are three and three six records in this customer and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 records in this account six customers seven accounts but nine depositor relationships and this is the er model for that particular example this is the example where it shows how customer is related with account through depositor relationship when a customer accesses a particular account on which date a customer accesses a particular account and what will be stored inside this repository customer id account number and access date so you can see which customer id accessed which account number on this particular date so that's it my dear friends that was a simple simplest example of er diagram we will go further deep into that in the next lecture thank you